Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the great famous Sephardi Rabbanim. And actually it's going to be the Hilula here on Tet Zayin Ab, a very famous rabbi that would later on become a head rabbi in uh, Egypt towards the end of his life. His name was Rabbi Moshe Farado. Very, very great rabbi. He was born actually in Jerusalem in English year 1810. And he would uh, later on pass away in the year 1888 on Tet Zayin Ab naturally. So he was born from a rabbinic family. Also his father, Rabbi Raphael David Fardo, he was a descendant, according to uh, uh, many sources, of Rabbi David Fardo, and his mother-in-law was a descendant of the Chida, Rabbi Chaim Yosef David Azule, also the great Chida, famous Chida, which I've done a video on also. In fact, his mother, Sarah, Rabbi Sarah, was the daughter of Rabbi Yitzchak, Abu Lafia, very, very famous rabbi from the famous Abu Fadia family also, which uh, included leaders uh, of a uh, galaxy of leaders that were from the Jewish settlement in Tiberias, in uh, Tiberia, in uh, one of the holy cities in Israel. So he actually studied in several different yeshivot uh, in Jerusalem. The, the Chesed La Abraham was one of the famous yeshivot he learned in, and also the Benin Shlomo Yeshiva. And he actually learned with the Chabruta, with the Chacham Yaakov Shaul, Ali Elisha also he was uh, learning with, and he was uh, he was a very very great rabbi. He, he became a dayan of uh, the Sephardi community, in the Sephardi court in Yerushalayim, and uh, at that time he worked under a very very great rabbi of the name Rabbi Aaron Azriel, who was head of the court, and uh, after him there was uh, Rabbi Avram Ashkenazi. He also uh, worked under, and then it was at a later stage. Around the year 1877, it was in the 1870s. I believe it was in the 1870s. Actually, he went on. Uh, he went to the mission to North Africa on behalf of the Sephardi Kehila of the in Jerusalem. And on his way back, when he was going to back to Israel, when he went all over the African countries, he passed through Alexandria. And uh, many of the people in the city, many uh, besieged him and uh, persuaded him to actually uh, become the head rabbi of this uh, uh, incredible, uh, huge Torah flourishing area. Because the rabbi, uh, rabbi in Natan Abram, Zechat Tzadik Lebracha, had passed away. So they wanted a new leader and they saw him as being the new leader. So they, they besieged him, besieged him, and he agreed to take the position. So he left his position as Diane in Yerushalayim, and he served for the next 17 years in Alexandria, in Egypt, in this very, very prominent position as the head of the community over there. And uh, very, very interesting. Uh, he was always longing to go to Jerusalem. His heart was with Jerusalem, but he was serving over there in Egypt, in Alexandria, a very great place where there was a lot of great Rabbonim and they, the flourishing Torah community at the time. We later on passed away on Tet Zion Av. This is 16th of Av, naturally, in the year 1888. So we're talking about 145 years ago because we're now naturally entering the year 2023 at the moment. He corresponded with great sages at that stage in time throughout the, uh, the years. For example, and, and Rabbi, I did a video on Rabbi Yosef Hazan. He was corresponding to and, uh, also, Rav Shalom Moshe Chai Gagin, also he was, and Rav Yitzchak Kobo, also constantly within regards to the different halachic uh, importances and everything else of that generation that what people were grappling with. He left us with a lot of colossal works, different books, of Horat the Bedin. This was a contrast, it was a specific contrast of the Maskeret Gitin, which uh, he actually left us with. There was another book called the Tzedek Mishpat, which was based on the code of Jewish law of Hoshin Mishpat. Uh, this was, I believe, published in Izmir in Turkey. I think he spent some time in Turkey also at some stage. It was also Shemot Moshe, which was a shoot. Also, I believe, published in Izmir in Turkey also. Another closer work was the Hagahot Al-Khelek Gimel Nesefer Chasdei David L'Zikno Rav David Pardo, which was, uh, I believe, printed in Jerusalem. Then there was a Tushuvot Ma'ava, which was... Uh, Basically, some perushim of Rav Eliyahu ben Amozeg, who I think I think I mentioned before in a previous video within regards to Im So it was uh, some sort of uh, perushim within regards to the Kavot al 
and everything else, which was printed many, many Then there's another book also, the Drosh Tav Achen, Shvot, Hilchotiot, Nosefet Netrub Kitab Yad. So he wrote a lot of different colossal works over there. And uh, yeah, he was a very, very great Travai. A lot can be said within regards to him also. Uh, he also was a big Darshan. He spoke so many places and uh, gave many, many powerful sermons and everything else. And he wrote many scripts within regards to different sermons he had given and everything else. So he was uh, of a great lineage, as I stated before, born in the year 1810 in Jerusalem, passed away in the year 1888, and uh, was buried naturally in Alexandria, where he was actually a head rabbi in that area also. So it's going to be Zilula Chet Zion Av, the day after Tuba Av, the powerful day of Tuba Av of the Jewish calendar. And uh, yeah, we should uh, let like candles and memory and all this chuyot be protecting Am Yisrael. And very much I would recommend everyone to read upon him. I will, on the YouTube link, I would leave his he, full Hebrew name so that you can research on him more and everything else. So guys, uh, please look over the previous videos also with regards to great Sephardi Rabbanim. There's so many of them, Baruch Hashem. And uh, let's learn about all the great Rabbanim. And have a good night and be blessed.